Hey guys, Bradley Washer here, and I wanted to do a quick video talking a little bit about the source radius and source length inside of Unreal on the point lights and spotlights. So what does that mean for us and how can we use it? Well, by default, if we drag a point light into our scene, what you'll notice is that it has a uniform kind of spherical um, attenuation slash influence radius. And where this highlight is at the very center, you'll notice it's just a perfect sphere. If we come over to its source radius and we turn this up and we turn up the source length as well, what we'll end up seeing is this tube kind of form here, this capsule. And what that can be great for is if you need to represent the look of an LED light strip or some other long light in your scene, this is the answer to solving that problem for you. Back in the day, what you would have to do is bring out a point light, lay it down, hit control V, copy it, put it very close, do the same thing multiple times. And this became hard to manage because ultimately you would need to place a lot of these lights down. And you can also see that you're getting a little bit of a, a stepping, a little bit of a, a little bit of an issue where it's not purely white, it doesn't feel consistent. So this technique can still work in certain situations where you need to use it. Uh, but now source radius and source length help us out. The other thing to consider with source radius and source length is if I set the source length to zero, which is what it is by default, but the source radius option right here is actually saying how big is the light source. So something you might not be considering is when we even look at the reflection on our guy here, we're seeing it's changing. Because if we think about in its default state at a source radius of zero, the light is infinitely small. It's a very small point of light generating all this energy. If we make it bigger, let's say that we had this large sphere of fire here and it was emitting light. What we've done is the way in which that light will cast into the scene has now changed. We'll have softer shadows. We have a different reflection quality and this and we can see right here in the highlights of our character, it will change the, the, the look and the fidelity of the object we're dealing with. So this is something to take in, into consideration if you were to light this larger light source in your levels, would be make sure that whatever is emitting that light source, you kind of encapsulated in this source radius distance. Now, something else to consider is we can also do this on point lights, or I should say spotlights, sorry. Right over here, what you'll notice is that we again have our source radius and source length set. And it's adding a little bit of more of a highlight internally. The only thing that is different is that within this cone, the attenuation cone, is the only place you're going to see the effect. It's not going to show up on the outside of that attenuation radius. Again, anything within this radius is where we're gonna see it. Anything outside is just not gonna be um, visible. So hopefully in closing, this gives you guys some ideas on how you can use these in your games and in your levels. If you have any questions about Unreal or Game Dev or anything else, please add them in the comments. I love answering questions about Game Dev. And if you found this useful, please like and subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.